Hello everyone, Nathan Sivu here. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm doing an alt tech review of two different video sharing websites, uh, both BitChute and BitTube. So let's get right into it. So first here we have BitChute, which uh, I'm sure many of you are familiar with. It's uh, the free speech equivalent uh, of, uh, of YouTube. And uh, it's got some features that I really like. Um, like for example, you can, uh, you can auto import any videos that you upload to YouTube. So as soon as you publish a video on YouTube, give it maybe about an hour or so, and then that same video will be auto, auto published on your BitChute channel, which I think is awesome. I think that's a really great feature. It makes it, um, it makes it impossibly easy to you know manage you know posting on multiple platforms like there's basically no work involved the only thing that you might want to do is you can add up to three hashtags on on each video like in the in the settings um which is really cool so i very much enjoy this platform because one of the other great things in terms of just you know from a tech perspective is when you're watching a video uh actually maybe i'll just go in and uh show you here. I won't actually play the video. I'll just pause it right away before we can start. Um, so you can see down here, like you can see where it's like, it's showing the download speed and everything else and it's showing a number of peers. And that is because this video, um, or all the videos on BitChute um, are brought to you by BitTorrent uh, technology, uh, WebTorrent, I think it's called. So so it to to you it's just sort of served like an ordinary video you know you wouldn't really distinguish it from any other video sharing site but in terms of the technical perspective it's totally different you know the videos the videos are you know decentralized they're not housed on you know one specific server um well actually it's not a hundred percent true um in the case of if you know if your video is not popular or whatever um and there's only one you know say one viewer viewing the uh, the video, like if it's not all that popular, it's coming from a server. But as more and more people start watching it, uh, then they automatically start like uh, basically feeding off each other. They start seeding, is is what it's called, and so it all come. So basically, everybody's you know kind of feeding off each other. So it's it's one of those things that the more people to watch, the faster it is, which is the opposite of normal you know video viewing. Um, so their their bandwidth costs go through the floor in a case like that. Um, it's kind of the only it, it's kind of the only way any new company can really even think of competing with YouTube right now. Um, so uh, so yeah, that's ba that's basically how it works. And it uh, let me just mute it just so so we're gonna see. So yeah, it, fu it functions quite well, and you know, skipping through videos is nice and fast. Um, so yeah, functionally it works great, and uh, something else that I really like is that the um, uh, it's a free speech platform, which means that nobody's going to get banned, nobody's going to be uh, you know censored for something that they say. Unlike YouTube, where you know even not saying something controversial can get you demonetized or banned or have your video put into limited state or whatever. Um, you know, with all these problems that we're seeing on YouTube, you know, alternate platforms are becoming very, very necessary. Um, uh, also, they just implemented a monetization feature where you can do a tip or a pledge. You just basically put in the email of your, of your, um, of your, of your PayPal account, and then that gives people the ability to give you a tip or give you monthly donations. You know what you know, whatever way you like. Um, they are pretty soon going to have advertisements. Um, it's uh, going to be completely optional though. Like, uh, like as the viewer, you can say, yes, I want to be able to see ads or no, I don't want to be able to see ads. Um, personally, I think I will have ads enabled just because I want to support whatever, you know, whatever content creator that I'm viewing at that particular moment. I, that's just my personal opinion about it. Um, so yeah, it does have that monetization option soon, and it's going to have more monetization options on the way. And apparently, they're also coming out with something called PayShoot. I don't know all the details on that. From what I understand, it's basically going to be going to be their version of Patreon, uh, which you know might actually be more beneficial to pledgers and creators because I'm guessing they're probably going to give like a a better share. There's going to be less fees involved. Um, so yeah, there's there's a uh, Oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to say about BitChute uh, is over here where in the, the help them grow page, um, where they have di you know different pledges that you can do for, because you know they're, they're a new platform, so they they kind of need public funding in order to you know kind of keep going. 
Um, so they have a PayPal, a pay, uh, Patreon, and all that stuff. Um, there's different rewards for for you know the different levels of pledging. Which actually, there there is one gripe I have about that. Um, they they have here like even even on the gold mem uh, the gold uh, pledge list they they have a maximum number uh, uh, two hundred playlists um, uh, as well as um, oh sorry max max forty playlists with a max number of uh, two hundred uh, playlist entries now personally I feel like that's just kind of a feature the site should have anyway like I think you should like to me that's kind of a basic feature that it should be unlimited playlists, unlimited playlist entries. Um, but I understand they probably they probably want to just have some kind of reward for, you know, pledging, you know, you know, pledging to them. So they, they kind of want to have some kind of reward for you for that. Now, personally, personally, what I would be willing to do is I would be willing to pay a $20 one time fee, and then I get unlimited playlists with unlimited playlist entries. That's just me personally that I've I I feel like that would go a long way with people. I know it would with me. Um, I'd very much like to see that change. Maybe that'll change in the future. Um, and uh, it's it says here that there's uh, there's like exclusive mug, exclusive T-shirts. Uh, I kind of like to see uh, a merch store. Maybe that's already here and I'm missing it. But uh, yeah, if if you know if Bitshoot's selling merchandise, I'd I'd definitely like to get in on some of that. Um, the other way that you can support them is that you can actually do some uh, cryptocurrency mining for them. Um, uh, I would say accept, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, then you can just start mining some cryptocurrency for them. Uh, that's obviously going to take some compu computing power. It's going to, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit of... I'm not sure exactly how much work it puts your hard drive in. I think if you, if you lessen the threads... It, it won't it won't mine as hard um, so yeah that is another way that you can support the platform if you don't want to donate to them directly overall I think it's a great platform there's gonna be more features along the way like uh, uh, there's uh, soon well, I'm not sure how soon there is gonna be but uh, but eventually there's gonna be support for uh, for HD videos uh, at the moment they're not HD but I mean it's it's still all right um, and then eventually they're also going to do live streaming uh, services, which would be great. I'd love to do some live streaming on uh, on BitChute. I'd like to see how that goes. I did realize something crucial that I was going to mention, but I forgot to mention. Um, uh, something else that uh, a criticism that somebody might have over the platform is that it's you know you know too political. Um, now, I mean, I understand why that is. Uh, there is an abundance of uh, political content on BitChute, but that's simply because uh, you know with with all the demonetizing and censorship that happens on YouTube, uh, political commentators and uh, and independent journalists are certainly the ones getting hit the hardest by that. But I mean, even gamers are getting hit by that now. Everybody is. Um, so yeah, I mean, for the for that, that's a pretty obvious reason as to why there would be an abundance of political commentary on here because you know that's where people are are going to flood to. You know, they're going to flood to the place where they're not going to be censored. Um, but, you know, if, if politics aren't your thing, uh, you can simply click this and then there's a list of categories for you to choose from. And, of course, you know, if, so if you want gaming, you know, like me, I'm, you know, I upload a lot of gaming content. Uh, you can go straight to that and look at just the gaming stuff. And then they have, you know, all kinds of filters, you know, with, you know, just, I think this is just no filter. There's popular, there's, you know, filters that you can pick from in there, which is nice. Um... And then, so so this is also kind of a good way to discover um, new, um, uh, you know, new content creators that you might be uh, interested in. Uh, hey, <laughs> there's GamePro Bros. Those guys are great. Um, oh, Torok. Oh, y'all remember Torok? Sorry, that's a bit of a tangent. Um, so yeah, that so that in that way, it's a really great way to uh, you know try and discover new uh, new creators if if that's what you're trying to do. The one gripe I guess I'd say I'd have from that is that the uh, the search functionality is not very good. I would actually go as far as to say that it's uh, it needs some fixing. I'll just I'll just say that that's the nicest way I think I could put it. Um, but that is of course offset by the fact that um, that you know th that you can. You know, it is a fairly small community. Like, if if you're looking under the gaming category, um, there there's not a ton of people on there, so it's it's a good way to discover people. Um, 
and, and also when whenever you post a video, uh, at least whenever I've posted a video, and I I at Bitshoot on uh, on Twitter or on Gab, they're very likely to repost, retweet, um, whatever it is that you're that you're mentioning about them. So that's so that's pretty cool of them. So with that with all that said, we're going to move on to BitTube. Now, what's really cool about BitTube, just first off, just a couple features that I wanted to just kind of show right away. Um, oh, wait, I don't think I'm logged in. Right, I'm not logged in. Hold on a sec. Let me just um, not show you my login credentials. Okay, and we're back. So what's really nice about this is that uh, like they, they let you uh, really customize the uh, the color scheme, which I think is kind of a neat feature. That's an interesting freedom to have. Like, like the secondary green color, you can change that to... Oh, whoops. Um, like you can change that to red if you want to. Um, like they, they, they really give you a lot of freedom in that regard. Um, plus there's of course the night mode or the day, uh, daytime mode. Um, so yeah, I, th I think that's just kind of an interesting little extra feature that they have on there. Um, now the, the kind of the big thing about this, uh, this site, which, uh, which I really like, um, now I am still fairly new to the platform, so there could be some information that I'm missing. There is still a lot of stuff about this site that I don't know. Um, like, for example, uh, one of the features that I do know about is that uh, all their videos are monetized right from the beginning. You don't have to have X number of uh, subscribers before you can enable monetization. Every video is monetized. And the way it works is, actually, let me just bring it to my profile and I'll show you, uh, show you one of mine. Um, and again, I'll... Um, Maybe we'll put on some wings of V. Uh, and again, I'll mute the video just so that it doesn't... Hello. Yeah, be quiet, me. Um, actually, I'll just let that play in the background. So as the video is watching, you'll notice that uh, it's got this POV, which actually does not stand for... Um, it does not stand for point of view. Uh, what this does, it, it, the counter keeps going up. Um, it's not actually mining cryptocurrency actively while you're watching, um, but it... I don't full. I, I admit I don't fully understand what it what it works, but it basically is a counter to to how much that they feel you should earn from this this video, and then you get uh, uh, you get uh, you you earn uh, the tube cryptocurrency uh, from doing that. Uh, so basically, it's it's entirely based on watch time. The more people watch your videos. Um, the more reward you get from it, which is, I think, a, uh, which I think I think is a perfectly legitimate way of doing it. I think that's, um, I mean, on on principle, it seems like a good way to do it. I'm not sure how well it's going to work in the long run, just because, uh, you know, I'm still I'm still new to it. So like, I think it's at the very least a recipe for success. It depends on, how, you will just have to see how it turns out, I guess. Um, but yeah, at the mo at the moment, that's a I think that's kind of a, re a really interesting feature. Which and I don't think people should be afraid of the whole cryptocurrency thing. I mean, you, you're free to not claim it. I mean, you're, if if you know if, if cryptocurrency is something that that freaks you out, you're more than welcome to just not collect it. You know, you can totally do that. Um, but yeah, as far as a video sharing uh, platform, I mean, I think it functions quite well. And like when you're searching, you can even you can even filter the categories right here. So it's like, okay, I want only stuff from comedy and only stuff from entertainment. Or you know, you can you can choose that way. And then when you search, you'll only get results from those things. Um, as far as I know, the, the search fe feature works well. It's it's sort of hard to tell just because there isn't a ton of people on the site. I think at the moment they have twenty two thousand registered users. Um, I don't think that necessarily means 22,000 uploaders, however. I think those might be two different, two very different things. Now, what is also nice about this is, this is just under like your user profile. Um, the, in, in, in this one, you do have the freedom to, uh, to add playlists and add videos to said playlist. And it's, it's pretty easy to, to do, actually. You can, uh, um, like if I just go to my... Uh, publications, which is basically where all your uploads are, um, in the corner you can actually click right there and add to whatever playlist that you that you have in your playlist list. <laughs> um, uh, so that's kind of nice. Did I mention that you can do live streaming on this platform? Yeah, I I forgot to mention that they can do you can do live streaming on this platform. 
Okay, that's it. No more jump cuts. Now, uh, now again, where I'm on such a tight schedule and I only have so many, um, I only have so much time I can dedicate to you know posting a video and then you know po posting on multiple platforms, which is why BitChute is so great because uh, there is no time dedicated to it basically. Um, and then if you know if you feel like tweeting out your your video or gabbing it out, you know whatever the case may be. Um, so, so I do not have time to be, you know, repeatedly uploading the multiple platforms. So this does have a solution that is very nice about that, that as well, which, um, it's not quite the same as BitChute, uh, but it is something that I would like to see on BitChute. Um, like it's, it's really easy to bring in any of your older videos. Like you can just literally check off, you know, whatever videos you want to bring in. Um, and then of course you can edit from there. You can edit the description further if you want. Uh, you can post what category it goes into. You can add tags to it. And then when you're all done with that, you would click start import and it would start bringing in whatever uh, ones you've checked off. Now, uh, one sort of thing. Now I did, I did actually contact um, uh, through the bug report thing down here that it does seem to only bring in the first few lines from your description. I'd like to see that change where it's bringing in all of your, um, you know, your entire description. Um, I still think it's neat that you can at least edit it. That's kind of neat. But if, but if it could just have the whole description, that would be, that'd be really good. Cause I would save, that would save a step. And uh, the other thing now, and I assume this is maybe just a, an Ajax or a loading issue. Um, I noticed that as I scroll through the list, uh, some of the videos are missing. I'm not exactly sure why that would be. Uh, well, well, like I said, it might be a, lo a loading issue or an Ajax issue. Um, I assume I'm assuming that that is a feature that's going to be fixed in the not too distant future because it's such a new platform. I uh, I wouldn't necessarily fault the platform for that yet because I think it's it's probably a problem they're aware of and that they're I, I would assume that they're actively looking to fix it. Um, so yeah, I. I would like to see that. I would also like to see something like uh, like the uh, the the late VidMe used to have, where you could simply put in the U URL of a YouTube video, and it would start importing that video, its thumbnail, its description, everything. Um, that would also be really beneficial, and then I wouldn't have to be s scrolling through and finding you know, whatever video it was. I mean, I think this is a great option too. This is certainly a great option for any video that you've recently posted, uh, but for something that's really, you know, far back there, I think it'd be handy to uh, have a, um, to have a URL input or at least a search uh, a search input where you could search, your, you know, the videos that you've posted. Uh, so yeah, I think that'd be really good too. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, and of course they of course have all the different um, all the different categories as you would as you would hope they would. Um, so yeah, there that's uh, that's all I have to say about those platforms. Um, I would also like to see I'd like to see more people come to BitChute and BitTube. Um, I think uh, I think that is just something that uh, both platforms could benefit from very greatly. Now, I mean, I'm going to exercise my bias a little bit here, and I'd like to see more gamers uh, on board both of those. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, the more that these platforms, especially, especially BitChute where it, it kind of, it, you know, is known for being, uh, you know, you know, having a lot of political uh, content on there. And, and I feel like that does drive some people away from it. Not me, cause I actually do like listening to, you know, controversial topics or political commentary. I actually enjoy listening to that kind of stuff or watching it, I should say. Um, but yeah, I would like to see a lot more, uh, uh, people with various kinds of content, whether it's gaming or entertainment or music, I, I'd like to see more of that coming onto those platforms. Um, I really, I really feel like both platforms stand to benefit from something like that because the more, the more that these platforms become, I, I hesitate to use this term, but the more these platforms can become mainstream, the more that they can become. Uh, the more that they can uh, become, uh, you know, proper competitors for YouTube, you know, really, uh, really start to th uh, throttle back the uh, uh, borderline monopoly that YouTube has on, uh, on, you know, video sharing. So, uh, so yes, sign up to BitChute, sign up to BitTube, uh, check out both of these platforms, upload to both of these platforms. Uh, uh, 
uh, both both platforms welcome you on there. No matter no matter what kind of content it is that you're um, that you're uploading, these these guys want you. Um, also, just before I, I leave, sorry if I'm kind of all over the place. Um, BitTube also supports free speech, uh, which is which is a big deal in my opinion. Um, I, I personally, I'm a free speech absolutist. Uh, if it if it's not defamation and it's not an incitement to violence, uh, then those uh, if it's not an incitement to violence and it's not uh, a defamation, it's free speech. Everything outside of those two th things is free speech. And if you, you know, and if you don't like what somebody has to say, or if you think somebody has has something repugnant uh, that they're saying, um, give them a platform. Sunlight tends to be the best disinfectant, or you have the freedom to debate them on their ideas. Anyway, that's <laughs> that's a whole other topic. Um, so yeah, they, I've seen them repeatedly tweet out uh, and, and advertise that they're a free speech pat platform. So that's good. Um, so yeah, a little bit of you know a little bit of crossover on both platforms. I think uh, BitChute could certainly stand to, to have some features. You know that BitTube has. Like I'd like to see that sort of. Um, uh, crypto rewards simply by watching videos or having your videos watched. I'd like to see that on BitTube. Uh, sorry, I'd like to see that on BitChute, and uh, likewise, I'd like to see some of the some BitChute uh, features come over to BitTube as well. Like if, oh my God, if both of them, if both platforms auto imported just by simply publishing your YouTube videos, that uh, that'd be just that'd be gold. I'd love that, <laughs> but. Um, Anyway, I think that's uh, I think that's about all I have to say in, about this video. Um, if you liked it, you know, uh, you know, please, you know, leave, leave a comment. If there's anything I left out, also let me know. Um, if you, if if there's something crucial I left out, or if there was something I said that was incorrect in this video, feel free to correct me. Um, and of course, uh, subscribe to me on any of the platforms. I would I would just ask that. Um, uh, at the very least, uh, please uh, subscribe to um, my BitChute and my YouTube. Uh, you don't have to watch from both platforms, but uh, I mean, in the, in the event of my YouTube uh, channel getting getting banned or or just just going belly up for whatever reason, um, BitChute is the most reliable backup in that sense, um, and hopefully. And hopefully BitTube will continue to be part of the fold. I'm, I'm hoping that BitTube will be a viable platform that I'll continue to post to. I've only started on it uh, yesterday, so we'll see how it goes. But in the meantime, uh, if you want to see uh, any other content I've done, I do a lot of um, I do, do a lot of uh, Let's Play videos, and of course I also do uh, live streaming. Uh, links for all that stuff will be in the description down below. I will see you in the next video.